What kind of person looks at the number of dead citizens in the country he is supposed to lead and in an attempt to glamorize himself dismisses every American who died in a state that didn't support the president politically? What a disgrace! It's monstrous. Not a shred of empathy. Not an ounce of sorrow. What kind of president do we have? Clearly, we have a sociopath for the president of the United States. I want you to listen to this entire clip from Chuck Schumer. He he effectively ripped into Donald Trump for his extremely disturbing and callous statements that he made with regard to dismissing the lives of Americans who died in democratically run states and states that did not vote for him for president of the United States. Chuck Schumer let the president have it. Planning to address a number of topics. But the president held a press conference yesterday afternoon that was so callous, so uninformed, so egomaniacal, so divisive, that I am compelled to respond to it this morning. We are in the middle of a global pandemic that has killed nearly 200,000 Americans, far more than the number of Americans who died in World War I. More than any other nation on God's green earth, more than countries with larger populations, <clears throat> and more than countries with mere fractions of our wealth and power. And here's how the president spoke about the number of American deaths yesterday at his press conference. Quote, if you take the blue states out, we're at a level that anyone in the world would be at. If you take the blue states out, we're at a really very low level. Yes, Mr. President, if you don't count the total number of Americans who have died, you might think it's not so bad. If you close your eyes and pretend that half of the country doesn't exist, maybe some might think you didn't do such a spectacularly awful job. What kind of person looks at the number of dead citizens in the country he is supposed to lead and in an attempt to glamorize himself dismisses every American who died in a state that didn't support the president politically. What a disgrace. It's monstrous. Not a shred of empathy. Not an ounce of sorrow. What kind of president do we have? The president just wants you to see a graph about how his catastrophic failure to fight COVID-19 could, could have been worse. I suggest President Trump spend some time reading the stories of the men and women across the country who have passed away from this terrible virus. The fact of the matter is, is Donald Trump does not care. We know he doesn't care, not only because of what he said in the press conference, which I'll play for you in a minute so that you can hear it for yourself, but we know he doesn't care because even when he knew back in January and February how difficult this was going to be for America, he did not do his job as president and what he did instead was downplay the severity of the virus. And now that 200,000 Americans are dead, he's trying to say, oh, well, we would have done a lot better if not for the people who died in blue states. Listen to this sociopathic president. The not so good job was done. You'd be between 1.5 million. I remember these numbers so well and 2.2 million. Uh, that's quite a difference. So we're down in this territory. And that's despite the fact that the blue states had had tremendous death rates. If you take the blue states out, we're uh, at, at a level that uh, I don't think anybody in the world would be at. We're really at a very low level. But what kind of person looks at the number of dead citizens in the country he is supposed to lead and in an attempt to glamorize himself dismisses every American who died in a state that didn't support the president politically. What a disgrace. It's monstrous. Not a shred of empathy. Not an ounce of sorrow. What kind of president do we have? 
We have the type of president who would know that this virus was going to be traumatic and kill a lot of people and do nothing about it because he didn't want to hurt his chances of being reelected. Re we have the type of president who would intentionally stir up the worst in racial animus across this country because he knows that's his path way back to the White House. We have the type of president who would intentionally tell his voters to vote twice so that he could get reelected by invalidating the election. We have the type of president who would see this country burn to embers while he plays golf all for the sake of his ego. We have the type of president who has no regard whatsoever for the well-being of all of America. He only has concern and regard for his ego. We have the worst and the most dangerous type of president imaginable. And so we need to do a lot more than talk about how dangerous he is. We need people with power like Chuck Schumer, like Nancy Pelosi and anyone of good conscience and good faith who understand that Donald Trump is a significant threat to American democracy, we need them to do something about it. What kind of person looks at the number of dead citizens in the country he is supposed to lead and in an attempt to glamorize himself dismisses every American who died in a state that didn't support the president politically? What a disgrace!